Hi all, welcome back to Odo 16 Development Tutorials. In this video, let us discuss about SQL constraints in Odo 16. Odo helps you to set validation to record sets with the help of Python and model constraints. Already in the previous video, we have discussed about Python constraints in Odo. And in this video, let us discuss about SQL constraints. SQL constraints which are defined through the model attribute using SQL underscore constraints which also give the same purpose of Python constraints which helps to set validation for the record sets which act as a reminder for the user for the workflow. So let's check how can we add SQL constraints for one of our use cases of school management module. And in this school management module, here I created some student admission records. And here we can see that a new field that is admission code and which has a sequence of their admission number. And for each student, it may vary. So, using the SQL constraints, let's set a unique constraint for this admission code. Because for each record, this admission code becomes unique. And once it varies the unique, it gives error. So let's set a SQL constraint for this unique admission code. So in our school management module, here in the model school.student, I'm trying to add the SQL constraints. And the SQL constraints is add using the model attribute underscore SQL underscore constraints. And then let's set our unique constraint as And here I am adding the unique constraint. So I am just giving it as a name as unique admission code. So I am adding it for admission code. That's why I just add unique admission. And then let's set our whatever it is. Normally the SQL constraints are of different types. Let's such as check constraints, normal constraints, unique constraints. And if you are using the unique constraints, you need to add the variable as unique. And then our field, for which field we need this unique constraint. And I need it for the admission number and the admission number is defined as the field of admission code. So I just add it as admission code. So unique of admission code. Then let's add the error message. Whatever is the error message that is needed. So I just add it as this admission code is already exist. And then close the brackets. So uh, likewise we can add a name for our SQL constraint and whatever it is the constraint either unique, not null or check. So currently it is unique and unique constraint and unique of admission code. That means the field and then the error message. Likewise, we can add the another constraint also. I will show you about the check constraint. And here, this is a one of the check constraint. Here we can see that the check constraint is added as check quotation validated is a name for the check constraint and then used the variable check. And then here they added the quotation validated days is greater than zero and then a error message. Likewise, we can add the check constraints too. Uh, and then currently for our constraint of the school management module, I am just run the pie charm and then and for the SQL constraints, it may applicable once we install the module. So let's run the pie charm and go to UI and the SQL constraint is applicable once there is no data. So we need to add this SQL constraint once we create a module. Uh, and then in my a new database, I just am going to install the school management module. So I just install my school management module. And then trying to create some record. So just create a new record. And its admission number is here. And try to create a another record. And if I am going to edit this two as one and then save the record it gives the error that we have added inside the sql constraint that this admission code is already exists 
and which set as a validation for the user that he is wrongly inputted the admission code. Now it is correctly added. Likewise, we can set validations for each records that we needed using the SQL constraints in Odo 60. I hope you understand the idea about SQL constraints and model constraints in Odo 60. Thank you for watching the video.